Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orbrick, certified by the American Meteorological Society. On this Friday evening, if you're headed out to the many ball games that are going on or any sort of uh, maybe a, a cookout or something, everything's fine. Clouds will continue to move in, but we have no precipitation showing up on the Storm Team Fury at this time. Now, I've tweaked the estimates a little bit about the possibility of accumulation for rain. And uh, tomorrow, Saturday, because I don't think it's going to start raining until much later in the day. We have maybe about a tenth of an inch on Saturday. Sunday, probably the best chance for rain with half an inch. Monday and Tuesday could accumulate maybe a quarter of an inch each. So at least we have an inch and maybe a little bit more potentially out of this next system that's moving in. And so that's the best we can ask for. And I think that this is probably going to be a more gentle rain. We have had some rainfalls, you know, but they've come down like so heavy and so hard that the water just runs off. That's not helpful. Paris has 67, Terre Haute 67, Rockville 66, and Robinson 71 degrees. And the wind in Paris has picked up to 10. Uh, Mattoon has a 14 mile per hour wind. And I think as we go through the nighttime, the wind will stay fairly calm. But as this next system comes in, as we track this in, I think we're going to find that we start to get more breezy conditions. Here's some rain in Missouri, but that's still a long way away. And so that's probably not going to be very helpful for us. But here's the rainmaker. Here it is right here with an area of low pressure right here in the middle part of the country. That's why rain is developing in Kansas. And then we have a cold front. High pressure has brought us a pretty nice day today and now southerly breezes. And what's going to happen is we have this warm front lifting up and causing rather breezy conditions as we get into the day on Saturday and Saturday evening. Here's Saturday, 6 o'clock. This warm front really moves in, and, and here's a little chance for some rain. So maybe some rain on Saturday evening. Uh, but we are going to have actually rather balmy conditions. Temperatures will drop down into the 50s tomorrow night as opposed to the 30s and the upper 20s we had last night and the 40s we have for tonight. And then here comes that cold front, and that's going to take a, a while to get here. This is a fairly slow-moving system, and so even through Sunday, uh, with this being closer, I think we have a fair chance for some showers or thunder showers. 43 for the overnight low tonight, partly cloudy. The full hunter's moon is tonight. And then tomorrow, high of 76, mostly cloudy, but a gusty wind. And late, late tomorrow afternoon, or perhaps more likely tomorrow evening, showers will be possible, maybe a rumble or two of thunder. But look, 53 for the overnight low. And then a chance for rain, of course, on Monday and Tuesday and on Sunday. And so we've got a stretch of days where rain could be possible. In fact, all of next week has at least the possibility for some rainfall. And, and that's what we need. And we don't need heavy rain, but we, we just need a nice, gentle rainfall to help replenish some of the wells and get us um, a little bit out of this drought condition. Now.